So, Jeff, it's the third year now yeah. of the Jeff Sterling March for Men. Why prostate cancer to start with? Well, um, if, if you look around yourself at this fantastic stadium, most of these seats are going to be filled by men, most of them. You know, and one man in eight in the UK will get prostate cancer at some stage during their life. You know, so I think of the numbers of men who are filling these seats and imagine one in eight will get prostate cancer. And obviously it must be heartening to see so many fans from so many different backgrounds coming along to support and raise hopefully a lot of money. Yeah, it, it, it's absolutely brilliant. And there are some inspirational characters out there as well, people who are living with, and in some cases, and they won't mind me saying it, dying from prostate cancer, but they're with us and walking. You know, I had a lot of celebrities as well. I mean, Charlie Nicholas is here. Obviously, Mark Mackay's uh, been with us as well. Irving Welsh is uh, with us. You know, a whole host of, of, of people as well, which has been brilliant. And that's the case throughout the four days of the of the walk. So we've got great public support, great support from the walkers, and great support from the celebrities and the football clubs. And thank you for Celtic for their fantastic donation. We really, really appreciate it. Jeff's your good pal, but yeah. there's a greater cause at heart here. No, the cause has always been about awareness rather than just the money. Uh, we all like the money, so we're welcome to everything, but it was about awareness. But I was particularly proud because I'm a Glasgow boy, uh, so I've done two in England with Jeff, and when he was starting to talk about one in the country in Scotland, I thought, oh, if it's Glasgow, perfect. So I was absolutely thrilled, and Glasgow's always been a major part of my life. The stairs has been a major part of my life, but I just like the, the awareness scenario that everybody talks about. And now younger guys are starting to be able to talk about it. No embarrassment, no worries about it, just facing the music. And it's a reality of where we are. I think it's dead helpful. And it's, a, it's actually a treat to see some younger guys than me actually talking about it and, you know, not being scared. So tell us how Jeff's March for Men came about. Where did the idea come from? Well, it was the fantastic support that Jeff had been giving it, given us, and um, he got inspired to do something for us. And um, he never, uh, he knew that his team Hartlepool was never going to make it to Wembley any other way. So uh, he said, right, he was going to march there, and he's going to bring a load of friends with him. Um, so that's where it all started, and it built this army of people who were all supporting alongside him and really helping to get that message out um, about prostate cancer and get that awareness out to to men right across the world of football. Going forward, you're walking with your old chums. How's the rest of the route? And this is day one, so yeah. Well, we, we finish here tonight um, at Motherwell, and then we're on the, the last flight out to Belfast. Uh, walk through to Belfast for 26 miles tomorrow. The last flight out of there to Cardiff, and we do 26 miles in Wales, and then on to London on Sunday. And we, we start at the London Stadium, West Ham's home, and then finish at Tottenham Hotspur. So, and um, you know, I used to be seven feet three tall before I started to do these walks, but look at me now, <laughs> five foot seven, and shrinking fast. Well, the rain is coming on in typical Scottish fashion, so good luck, Jeff. Brilliant. Thanks, guys.